must be light today. It's the only explanation. Find out. All right, we're back. Bulk day 22. Someone caught my misspelling of the title yesterday. Apologies. I was trying to get that video up and posted before we headed out for some adventures with the family, which was awesome. So we just got back from that today. Um, had some good calories, good food. Um, I don't know. I didn't have as much food today. I still had a decent amount though. So we'll be interested to see um, what the body weight is. Let's check it because I can get back to my uh, second set on the pull-ups. Pull-ups felt very good, by the way. Felt excellent. Ooh, here. Let me get some more water in. Maybe that'll help. Push the numbers in my favor a little bit, right? I'm guessing I'm lighter because... Ah. All right. Ew. All right, let me show you the workout. There it is. Pretty basic. Heading into the set of second set of pull-ups. Then we'll do a set with 45. Two sets double row. Two sets pull. One set of curls. Well, actually, we'll do a drop set. Second set, 55 on the weight, pounds, not sure, kilograms, 24? Yeah. Whew. All right. I think last time I got seven on this set, um, like last time I did this workout last Saturday. So that's the mark to beat. Let's make it a good one. Ah, let's feel good today. Body weight is not really up or down, so I don't know. A little rest, and then we'll go one plate. Let's go. Third set on the pull-ups. The increase in volume has definitely been helping. Um, the body weight, get there in time. I'm definitely okay with stabilizing, um, you know, for, for a little while. I mean, calories are definitely up from the uh, cut. So, you know, I think the body has just gotten, like, getting used to and gotten used to in the 205 to 208 range, which is a huge increase from where we started. So I'm very happy with it. It's a journey. You know, we'll get there. Um, I prefer the incremental gains over time. Five pounds here and there. I want to enjoy each and every PR. Like on bench, five pounds here and there. Five pounds on body weight would be nuts. You know, one pound here and there on body weight. That'll be that'll be good enough for me. All right. Good. Mic's on. Maybe 10 on this. I don't even know. He's, he's been feeling good today. That's good. I thought about doing the 10, but I also want to make sure I'm improving on the uh, double rows. So three good, solid sets on the pull-ups. Good way to start the back workout. Um, yeah, so we'll rest a little bit. We have those double rows. The ever controversial. Everything felt really good after deadlifts, by the way. I know. Like, I'm just excited. I want to share it doesn't always feel great after that looks like usually does but I overdo it like there have been a couple times where I push for that like last rep and then you know done another that I didn't have any business doing and got it but that can uh, that can cause a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of damage a little bit of a tweak and was able to do 520 successfully four reps um, and do a couple sets of front squats afterwards so that's a, that's a good success. And if I look back at my track record with 500, I did, I think I did 500 for one, 500 for three, 500 for four, 
for five, for four, for six, for four, and then eventually got consistent at that seven to eight, finally nine, and then 10. So I'm imagining the same thing will happen with 520. Everything's gotta be so lined up and on point for deadlifts. Um, bench press and pull-ups, yes. But like this workout, it's challenging, but it's not, like I don't get that anticipation beforehand, you know? I'm not like, oh, you know, are we gonna be able to do it? Like, I'm always like, yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great, but you know, when there's weight over your neck or over your chest or on your back, you know, or you're gonna pick something up off the ground, it's, uh, you know, you get a little bit of that, kind of like the pre-workout feel, even if you don't have pre-workout, I just do coffee. Um, still still gets you a little bit fired up, but for squats and deadlifts, you know, um, all that's just to say, like, everything's gotta be mainly on point to uh, push into new territory on those. So um, I'm just expecting a little bit of undulating just with the body weight, you know. All right, enough of that. On to the All right. Time for the hundreds. Got to build some mass in the latissimus and the rhomboids. And I guess the spinal erectors. I don't know. Feels like it hits everything in the back and the hamstrings a little bit, which probably hurts me a tad tomorrow on squat day, but not really worried about it. Like squats are always a good challenge. So pile something else in there, like whatever, it's going to be fine. Especially with these 90 degree days, Woo! a couple reps and squats. It's like, okay, <laughs> what's going to happen here? Um, so I got the uh, safeties, right? All right, let's uh, go for eight here, maybe 10. Oh boy, what is that? Oh, diesel truck. All right, sorry about that. Always got to pay homage to the straight piped, muffler deleted, resonator deleted, <sighs> diesel powered truck that goes by. Definitely sure I'm the last one. Woo! Be another diesel powered truck? My goodness. All right, wow. so executive decision here. We're going 85. So I might just go eight reps, but a little bit of an increase. But I don't see myself increasing from the hundreds for a little while because they're still quite challenging for eight to 10 reps. And my form definitely breaks down on the last two to three. So. Um, no, no changes there, but on the second set, I think we can get a good eight here, or I should say, I hope we can. <sighs> Got to keep the back flat. that in the teeth. Always checking the mic. All right, let's get these pull downs here. See how they feel. I mean, if I could get 12, that'd be excellent, but more likely 10 to 11 is going to happen. We shall see. Make sure this doesn't move on me.
Yep, 10 was the number. It's all good. It's difficult to see. I mean, if you're pushing your earlier movements harder than normal, obviously your later movements in the workout are going to suffer just a bit, but, you know, the balancing act. <sighs> Got some cardio coming up after this. A little bit of lawn mowing in the front. Backyard's looking good, but front yard needs some help, so. <sighs> Should be a good calorie burn. Ah. Whew. Come on, lats. Grow. <sighs> Writing down my numbers here. In real time, you're seeing the documentation. <sighs> I've only got 10, so I'm going to go for six on the second set. Give it a couple seconds, though. Oh. Here we go. Definitely gonna have to get some good hydrating in because it's climbing steadily up to, I think only like a frail 93 degrees. So humidity, thousand percent, so that should be good. I like, I don't know though, I like working out with like whatever temperature it is outside. I feel like it adds a challenge, I mean. Nothing wrong with working out in a nice air conditioned space either, but I feel like then if you go to the nice air conditioned place, you'll probably feel even stronger, right? Um, I don't know. When I worked out on vacation, there was no air conditioning there, so I couldn't really test that theory. All right, probably just six. Not even that many total sets in this workout. Like if you don't count warm-ups, this is only my seventh set for back. So <sighs> I don't know what other natural bodybuilders do. I mean, I feel like it's different if you're taking every set close to failure. If you're doing a bunch of, oh, you know, five reps left in the tank sets, you could probably do 30 sets of those and not really get super fatigued. Like you're always leaving five reps in the tank. Oh, I feel like when it really come down, comes down to it, though, you got to train whatever method you enjoy, um, you know, because that's where you're going to progress. If you're using a method that you really, really dislike, maybe you can get some temporary gains. But if you don't, like if you don't maintain, like if I stopped working out for a month, the amount of progress in years of training that I would lose, I mean, like no exercise for a month, I feel like that would set me back a full year, honestly. The most of the time I've ever taken off was eight days, and it was in college because we went on this trip somewhere to like summer camp type deal, and they wouldn't let us use the gym, and... It was just not great. And I, I noticed, I felt like I lost a couple months work uh, of progress with no activity. Like not a deload week, but a straight like nothing. Um, you know, like walking around, cardio. There also wasn't a huge amount of food. So a couple contributing factors, but a full month, no activity. I mean, just keep going forward. Like if you're not enjoying your routine, change it up a little bit. You know, if you're not seeing progress, um, I don't really know. I mean, because I'm used to like very steady stuff sometimes and in between PRs, you know, 
Brian's uh, Brian's term there or Bryant. Um, so, but I just I I just love lifting in general. So maybe I'm not the best example, but I feel like it is pertinent to be moving forward, you know, and going in a certain direction, um, whatever that may be, you know, or just feeling good. You know, if the direction you're going in is being able to feel good every day, that in and of itself is, is huge. So, um, but yeah, I'm def definitely a believer in, uh, enjoying what you're doing. You know, that's why something like the, uh, small odd squat program where you're doing five squat days a week, unless you just really, really love squatting like Ivan, uh, Jerkovich, not sure if I pronounced that right. You know, squat, squat every day. He's on like day 16, 70 of squatting every day. He just loves to squat. Um, you know, but for other people, you got to find out what routine is best for you. You know, I'm still figuring it out. You know, it's always a ever evolving uh, process. So I'm going to uh, rest for a little bit. We got a lot of rants going in this workout today. Apologies. You know, sometimes I get a thought. Some some workouts are just quiet, like squats. I feel like I have very little to say. <laughs> it's just we're doing this. All right, let's. Uh, I'll put this away and we'll get the curls going. Okay, final stretch of the workout here. We're gonna go 60s. I believe I did six last time. A little swing on the sixth rep. So we'll try and get six solid no swing, or we'll try and get seven with a little bit of swing on the last one or two reps. Then to burn out for the grip, because we're trying to do something for forms every day, I'm going to do fat grips and just try and hold them and see if, you know, I can get like a 15, 20 seconds hold. And then, yeah, that'll be it until squat day. Already getting excited for those squats tomorrow. It's going to be good. 375 is the plan for five, five, and six. And I think I've actually only ever done six reps with 375 for like one set. So we're going to need to get some fuel in for sure. All right. <sighs> Game face. <clears throat> Here we go. Easy seven. Gotta make him feel light, right? It's interesting. I think the shape of those dumbbells, no excuses, but I think, oh, does this fit? Oh, good. It's weird. Like at the beginning, I was like, oh, we're getting eight reps. And then by rep four or five, I don't know. They just move kind of awkwardly for curls. I think for rows and presses, it doesn't really matter because you're not, you know, you're just going straight up and down. You're not twisting at all. All right. No idea how this is going to go. We're not doing curls with this. That's good stuff. I like that. Had these for a while. That was actually one of my first videos, like a long time ago. I don't even remember when. I did a fat grip review. Um, yeah, that was before the bulk series. It must have been over a year ago, I guess. Arms feel good. Should probably do one more thing, so let's get 
Some light curls. Okay, that's it. If you made it this far in the video, oh, drop a comment. How much do you think I'm going to bench by the end of the year? That way I know if anyone actually made it to the end of the video or not. Um, if you did, you're awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me so much. I know it's probably a longer video today because I had a couple rants in there, but I don't know. I just share things as I think about them, and I love when I get some feedback from people. You know, either they're like, no, that's stupid, or yes, I agree. <laughs> Most of the time, it's some kind of middle ground. Um, I'm just always interested to hear other people's thoughts about exercise and how to keep going and keep moving forward and keep the motivation high. For myself, I find that doing something every day keeps me going. Um, time off, typically, I, I lose motivation and I become unfocused, um, you know, but that's just me. Some, some people recharge, but for me, the thought of taking like three or four days off, it's like, I don't know. I like to work out. Why would I do that? <laughs> All right, that's it. Um, appreciate the uh, support. Hope you're getting a good workout in today, currently maybe, or maybe you already did, or maybe you got one coming up later. Either way, crush whatever it is. We'll see you tomorrow for 375, for 5, 5, and 6. Going for it. It's going to be good. Um, yeah, it's doable. One step closer to uh, sets with four plates, right? All right, that's it. Thanks for the support. Peace.